Counter-Strike 2. It's a lot like a prison. You got your Russians that hang out over here, your NA schizos that hang out here, your casual players, your sweat lords. Each map is its own hub for the CS community. You know, it's best we all try to get along, but there are some areas that you wouldn't dare step foot into. You're deselecting all these different maps you don't like just to play that one map. What does that one map say about you? First up, we got Dust 2. Call your dad right now and ask him if he has heard of Dust 2, and I guarantee you he will say yes. Let's take a quick stroll through memory lane. Home sweet home. The most iconic Counter-Strike map I of miss all time. It. Dust 2 is kind of like the DMV of the Counter-Strike map world. It's a cesspool. You got all walks of life on Dust 2, okay? You got Russians, people with 130 ping, <laughs> cheaters, 40-year-old men, and 12-year-olds in the same game. You can't get that anywhere else in Counter-Strike besides right here on Dust 2. Ultimately, there are two strategies on this map, T-side. Suka Bliat Rush B or eat 9 team flashes running out long doors. Of course it's a classic and it's held so many memories for so many Counter-Strike players throughout the years, but it hasn't really held up well in my opinion. This soccer ball and T-spawn oh. is probably the funnest aspect of this entire map. If your favorite map is Dust 2, you peaked in high school. You're yeah. still reliving the glory days. You're living with mom if this is your favorite map. <laughs> I'm gonna throw Dust 2 in C tier, but I still hold a lot of respect for Dust 2, okay? 100%. Next up, we got a fan. I always, I, I swear on God, like I'm not, but I swear on God, I feel like I, there's a lot of more, a lot more Russians playing Dust 2, no? Every time I queue Dust 2 in, in CSGO, I always had um, uh, Russians on the team, I feel like, like 90% of the time. On vertical, it's different. Mm. Favorite, yeah, right? Mirage. If this they is keep your OG. main map, you wear a sweatband when you play this game. Yeah. You stay up till 3 a.m. every oh night watching nade lineups and Gokushima demos. A lot of Mirage guys need to touch grass yes. immediately. But when I'm getting that Counter-Strike itch, when I start fiending, it's because I need to play a Mirage game. Every Mirage game has what I like to call... Mr. Scorpa, thanks for the five gifted hearts in the chat. The Window Kid. Within the first millisecond, guys, I got window. I got window, guys. And then he's gonna try bossing everyone around. Dude thinks he's like Monacy or something. Window kids have the biggest ego out of all Counter Strike players. B players are absolutely worthless. I don't care what you have to say. If you're a B player, you need to fucking do something, dude. The Palace player. You press snooze on your morning alarm 80 times every single morning. You're a baiter. Some of the worst people I've ever met on Counter-Strike were Mirage players. <laughs> that doesn't stop me from putting it in A tier, though. Mirage That's is goaded. Fair. Always a fun time. Always a horrible time at the same time. <laughs> yeah. The sponsor of today's video is Skin Swap, oh and they're also days. sponsoring you with a free item using code DUOP. They're the chief place for CS2 and Rust skins with a massive trading inventory and a top-of-the-line marketplace offering competitive rates and a 40% deposit bonus when using the link in the All description. Right, now combine that with their fast and easy selling feature with many, many payout options. Whoa, money! And with the trading taking under a minute, couldn't get any better than that. Sign up for Should Skin Swap with the, the link in the description. I feel like they came out of nowhere, and now they're like sponsoring everyone. <clears throat> I've never used it. No? No. Let's check out Inferno. Ah, Inferno. This is the chicken lover's paradise. Hey, that chicken's hey, driving- What are all the zifteds today? Steph, bro, cause for the five, bro. Hearts in the fucking chat. Now, cause of it. Like a car. Did you see that? Chicken glitch. Here's why I like Inferno. Check this out, guys. Yeah, chick, 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 chick. I already got two of them. Chip, 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 chip. Oh, here they come. See? Shut they the hear me, up, ladies and gentlemen. You are witnessing Shut advanced warfare nice mechanics. Place. Calm down, calm down. Guys, please! I don't want to keep stopping. I will check the skeleton knife definitely after we finish this video immediately, and I will give you an accurate price check, baby. Thank you so much. <laughs> Sorry you had to see that, Arrow. Something yeah. I'll never forgive Valve for is getting rid of Tic-Tac-Toe and then adding these Valorant Bells. True. Also, massive shout out to Gob B. Gob the, B Valorant, uh, the Valorant Bells would be cool if they didn't sometimes, I swear on God, sometimes you shoot and it doesn't register. And that's so freaking annoying. You got a beat going on, you shoot again, and it doesn't register. Four Fucks up your whole getting tune. rid of tic-tac-toe and then adding these Valorant bells. Also, massive shout out to- Oh, I just didn't hit them. I don't know. Gob B. Gob B laid the foundation to how Inferno was played. Absolute legend. One of the greatest Counter-Strike players to ever exist. Yeah. Inferno. Okay? If you main this map, you are chicken. That being said, I'm going to throw Inferno in B tier. Cedar yeah. Creek. Nuclear power. Nuke is a fanboy map, no? <clears throat> 
I swear on God, every time I watch Fran every time I watch French Day, it's 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 it's, it's He's playing with four fanboys. Oh, it's a five stick. I don't know. Plant facility. Let's take a little tour, shall we? Nuke is like a giant jungle gym. Okay, you got ladders, doors, vents, surf spots, edge <laughs> bugs. Yep. You got a nice, flat, even ground almost everywhere, causing for consistent bunny hopping. Okay, this is the movement player's paradise. Yep. If your main map is nuke, every kill has to be a clip. You're not satisfied with the one tap. Pretty much every single wall on this map is wall bangable. This map is for absolute maniacs. Nuke is kind of like that table in high school where the weird kids sit at, but I think that's uh, kind of charming. Nuke is home to the dopamine deprived gamers, and for that very reason, I'm going to put Nuke in S tier. Yeah, okay? I like something Nuke. very special. Ladies and gentlemen, we are now taking a deep, deep dive into the darkest, most foul depths of Counter Strike. The bottom of the iceberg. <laughs> I present to you Hi. Office. Oh my days. At first glance, Office looks like a beautiful, wintry wonderland. It's even got a snowman, for crying out loud. But once you load into a live match on Office, you will realize that this beautiful, winter wonderland is ruined. It was claimed by heathens. You thought uh. nuke players were weirdos. Wait till you get into Office, buddy. Office is the 4chan of Counter-Strike maps. You know, you might have a piss bottle on your desk if you main nuke, but if you main office, you got a My Little Pony mason jar sitting on top of your radiator. I don't know what it is about this map that attracts the type of people who play it, but it's scary shit, man. Look at the profile pictures and the usernames of your next office match, okay? You will immediately disable voice communication. Office is our first D tier. That's so This map, bad. a safari. You drive your bus through the safari. You don't want to get too close to the people that inhabit this area. <laughs> Next up, we got Overpass. I actually like Office, bro. Sometimes we had some nice interactions on Office, no? So I feel like we had some good teammates on Office, bro. But of course, a lot of cheaters as well. If you play Overpass, you're a fan. I think NA Office is a lot of uh, very different from EU Office, though. He's from NA, so he only got to experience the oh NA man, office. On NA office, we've seen a whole video from Goldeck about the, the craziest communities. Um, and he, do, he did feature office. And it felt like it was very, very different to the office that I know. Fan of Counter-Strike. I, I feel like EU office is a, lit, a little bit nicer. Of the way it's played. Overpass is one of my favorite maps to watch pros play. First place, oh. though, in my opinion, was Train. It's probably my oh. favorite Counter-Strike map of all time. Yeah. If you weren't around Counter-Strike when Train was here, Please hang tight, okay? It's gonna be back in Counter-Strike 2 soon. It's perfect for a pro, okay? The Surely. way you can weasel your way through all the train carts, it's the perfect map for the lone wolf. And I think that's why I love watching pros play train, is because when it's like a 1v3 or a 1v4, you're about to be on the edge of your seat, man. Well train said. is a sick map, and so is Overpass. If you main Overpass, you're definitely a T-side player. I'm gonna throw Overpass in A tier. Next up, we got a pretty underrated map here, okay? Someone new to the Ancient. family. We got Ancient. Know this map? For this one, you gotta know your smokes, no? Before playing this, you gotta watch at least 10 minutes of Nate tutorials. Map has a lot of haters, and I think that's just because it's a new map. It's like the new coworker. Kind of scope them out, you know, see what's up with them, but you keep your distance. Maps are very much like that. I'm gonna need a little help here. I might have to phone a friend. Give me one sec, guys. If you only play Ancient on CS2, what does that say about you as a person? I feel like they're the kind of do intermittent fasting. Pretty much looks ah! nice for Sigmas. That's what you're saying. What? This guy reminds me of someone who likes Ancient. Who? Nah, this is a cash player. That's not a cash player. <laughs> what are they saying? Yeah, it is. This is an office player. <laughs> well, with all that being said, <laughs> no. I'm gonna go ahead and throw Ancient that was in B tier, okay? I think Ancient and Inferno, they do deserve to be side by side. Next up, we have the newest addition uh -huh. to the map pool, Anubis. Definitely, Anubis is nice. Definitely one of the more beautiful Counter-Strike maps. You could tell this is like an entirely new artistic direction for Counter-Strike. When this map got added, a lot of people said it reminded them of like a Valorant map, and I kind of see it, but at the same time, you know, I like it. But if you told me this was your favorite map, I really wouldn't understand. I'd probably make fun of you a little bit. Really? Not a bad addition to the Counter-Strike map pool. I think it plays very well, but yeah, there's no way this is your favorite map. I'm gonna go ahead and throw it in C tier. When I do play, you know... Bro, what I hate about Anubis, and let me know how you feel about this, I swear on God, the amount of times that I said, it's B, it's B, while I'm standing on A, I, I swear on God, I don't know what it is, but A should be B and B should be A. 
I don't know whether it's because the one is like it's different from the other maps where one is on the left, one is on the. I swear, it, it, my brain can't comprehend. It's either yeah. I'm stomping or I'm getting shit on. Oh, it's There's because no B is more open. Than I don't know, bro. I don't know. in between. Give it a little more time. So maybe weird. it'll shine. Let's check out Vertigo. If you main. Jiga chat. Jiga chat. You got your life straight. Uh, probably uh, have a girlfriend. That's Vertigo, no? It's for the based people out there. Vertigo, you're definitely a Mac 10 type of guy. Yeah. You know, and that's for a reason. A reason hollow. Okay, dog, dog, dog. Two hour, I swear on God, bro. Like your videos at the beginning, there were there were fun and games and stuff, but bro, you changed a little bit, bro. Not gonna lie. On a Mac 10. Yeah. Four of them. Uh, Something bro. I think a lot of people don't realize is that like. Every single initial fight you'll take on this map is yeah. against a head glitch. You're hitting B, you got a head glitch here, nah. or a head glitch there. You got a head glitch there. This head glitch right here too. Absolutely brutal. <laughs> That's fair actually. A head glitch there, head glitch there, head glitch here. You're on a head glitch when you're hitting A right here. There's just so much cheese about that. on this map. Sometimes it can be really tilting. Other times, you know, you could pull off a really nice execute and just run through an entire site one tapping everybody. It's a doggy dog world on Vertigo. It's so good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Vertigo was a cute map. Where right else do you do that? Guys, and as well, when it comes to the eSports scene, it is the most entertaining map to watch. What's fun when you watch? Randomness. Well, not every round is the same when they save at 4v5 and stuff. We have wall banks. You have kills out of nowhere, and it's like, what? You have run boosts. We've seen many, many pro teams, even G2, attempt run boosts from from spawn towards towards B. You already know. Sometimes you see one of them falling off. Remember sci fight the major? If you know, you know. Blood fell off the map. One of the funniest moments ever that, uh, of CSGO history. Yeah? What else do we have? We have crazy boosts. We have triple man boosts. Out of nowhere. Crazy. Bruder. It is one of the nicest maps. By far. We have quick rotations from A to B, which allow retakes more easily. Wow. But, oh, to all the Vertigo enjoyers out there, the old Vertigo was even nicer than the current one. Where you could, from middle, go down immediately, like jump down. If you know, you know. If you know, you know. Or, where you could go from middle to B, um, um, through the fucking, like, sandbag ramp thing. Old Vertigo was even crazier. Have some funny moments, you know, like jumping off a skyscraper. I love that. Overall, though, I don't mind playing Vertigo games, especially yeah. uh, with the right. At least. B tier. Hey, At least B tier. Days, so. I know he's a normie, so he's not going to put it into S tier where, where it belongs. Um, at least B tier. Right, teammates, you know, we call them Vertigo Globals. Vertigo's their home for some reason. Yeah. I'm going to give it a B tier. Yeah! Last but not I least. I take that. Actually, I take that. So we have our second hostage map in the map Fuck pool. It. That's Italy. nice. Italy. Italy. Man, they did an amazing job remaking this map. Look how they spelled lemon. Fragola. Gio. Italy sucks. Not, if we played it in what? In the Faces Streamer League? Nobody knew what the fuck going on, bro. And hostage maps in general. Calato. Pistachio. Menta. What a I would rather play Office. Dumbass. Guy thinks he's Mario or something. There's a lot of ice cream stuff on this map. It's kind of cute. Look at that. I got a little Fiat. They had to pull over because they don't know how to drive because they just don't. It's giving me like a Mon Warfare 2 favela vibes. Oh, well, I feel like this little picnic table is the perfect place to end our view of this map. No one plays Italy, okay? If you're maining Italy, you are literally 70 years old. You could look at it like this, okay? Inferno, Ancient, and Vertigo. This is your soup and salad, okay? Mirage and Overpass, this is your main course meal. It's your steak and potatoes. Nuke, that's your dessert, okay? This is your little treat after a long day of hard work. Have a little fun and step into the naughty side on Nuke, okay? Office is the gum that's stuck underneath the dinner table, okay? Dust, Anubis, in Italy, you know, it's your napkin. They exist, but you know, you're not really oh, eating man. it up. You're not enjoying it. If you enjoy the video, drop a poop emoji oh, and a hard eye emoji. Days. Love you guys. Catch you in the next one. <laughs> what emoji? Nah. Bro, those are the duo web bangers that I'm that I'm living for, you know what I mean? Chat? Bro, that suck. What a fucking banger, bro. What a fucking banger. Can I get some hearts in the chat for duo web? And can I see some likes on this video right fucking now?